shock of horror on my new brown up here. Bambi was often alone now. His mother would disappear, and no matter how much he called her, she wouldn't come back. One day, Bambi wandered for hours through the thicket. At last, he began to call. He simply couldn't bear to be so utterly lonely anymore. He felt that pretty soon he'd be perfectly miserable, so he began to call for his mother. Suddenly, one of the fathers was standing in front of him, looking sternly down at him. Bambi hadn't heard him coming and was terrified. The stag looked more powerful than the others, taller and prouder. His coat shone with a deeper, richer red, but his face shimmered silvery gray, and tall black beaded antlers rose high above his nervous ears. What are you crying about? The old stag asked severely. Bambi trembled in awe and did not answer. Your mother has no time for you now, the old stag went on. Bambi was completely dominated by his masterful voice, and at the same time he admired it. Can't you stay by yourself? Shame on you! Bambi wanted to say that he was perfectly able to stay by himself, that he had often been left alone already, but he could not get it out. He was obedient, and he felt terribly ashamed. Years pass, years pass, years pass, years pass. Bambi is as old, old as the hills. He's seen more and been through more this world than we can even imagine. A delicate, frightened call came to his ears. He listened and went closer. The call came again, more urgent, more plaintively. Fawn's voices were wailing, Mother! Mother! Bambi glided through the bushes and followed the calls. Two fawns were standing side by side in their little red coats. A brother and sister, forsaken and despondent. Mother! Mother! They called. Before they knew what had happened, Bambi was standing in front of them. They stared at him speechlessly. Your mother has no time for you now, said Bambi severely. He looked into the little brother's eyes. Can't you stay by yourself? The little brother and sister were silent. Bambi turned and gliding into the bushes, disappeared before they had come to their senses. He went on and vanished into the forest. Try that again. I meant to, I meant to do a... okay. So there you go, people. Wanting your mommy is one thing. Being shamed for wanting your mommy. Double whammy. <laughs> Welcome back to How Do You Paint? Addie Painters. Uh, I'm doing a lot better from since the last episode when I went into the shame spiral. Stripey's teaching me a lot about it's okay to be weak and needy. And we're breaking the cycle here. Painting. <clears throat> I did, I, as you can see, I got rid of the tree. Um, check out my hunter man. He looks sad and despondent too. He wants his mommy. That's why he has to kill. That's actually real talk there. He lost his connection with Mother Earth and now he has to kill mommies to be dominant and masterful. The other thing about my shame spiral is I just got to get into the painting not and out of myself. You know, I got to transcend myself. I'm wearing a lot of clothes right now. I noticed this is new. I noticed that I'm wearing a new, whoa, I've noticed, I just noticed I'm wearing something new. It's a, it's a vest. It's because it's cold. So as you can see, I, I did some more on the sky just to kind of cover that tree that was there. And now I've got to recreate some of the grassy knoll. So let's continue this red, just like, there we go. I could probably just end it right there, right? Okay, and then I'll need to come back in and put more grass on it. 
So I'm going to put in the sky. Um, hopefully that'll give me the results that I'm seeking. Again, I would really like to paint in a way where there are no results that I'm seeking, where what I'm seeking is receptivity. Ah, uh, okay, that's a bit lighter. Yeah, I don't want to seek known things anymore. I want to be, I want to discover. I don't want to execute. I want to discover. I don't mind having, I kind of like having these colors showing, shine through. Medium blue. I also grayed them down, you know, because I was afraid, I, I felt like it was way too, whoa, take it easy. <laughs> I felt like it was way too um, colorful up here in this section. So, hence, the toned down blues. And now I gotta come in with the lighter blue, the lightest blue, and finish off this kinda horizon line, right? Remember the scumbly? Uh, this this sh should be a little, it's not scumbly at all. It's everything's wet and damp. I'm upset already, but I didn't drink coffee today, so I think I can handle problems arising without a fucking tantrum. I want the yellow to show somewhat. I'm using pure white, and yet it's, God, it's, I think it's just the, well, see, this is working. This is working. This is what I was going for, okay? This kind of see-through. So let me just see if I can see. This is the fact that nothing is drying is, is helping me right now. I can kind of come back in and take some of this blue off to get more of a light, airy gradient, right? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ah, high drama, people. Suspense. All right. Okay, to kind of blend out with the white like that. I'm trying to keep an eye on the big picture. See the forest for the trees. Let's stand back and see the damage. All right, it looks like nighttime, doesn't it? That's okay. Okay, you you people stay there. Look at, tell me how this looks from a distance. I would, this is why people need long brushes. Because this needs to get a little darkened in, huh? Yeah? How's that? Here's an issue. Uh, there's always an issue. See how this yellow line follows the follows all the shapes and the horizons? That's not how it works. I think like if the yellow were this high here in the sky, it would be continue to be that high in the sky, wouldn't it? Right? Isn't that how it works? Like, I don't know if that's important to me. Okay, here's the solution. This thing is not a landmass. This is an imaginary thing. So the light shouldn't be, the, the sun should not be up around that. It should only be around the land. Doesn't that make sense? So there, I'm obviously gonna have to redo once again the white supremacy blob. Stop, Kate, just, you need to stop now. Okay, leave it alone. One more little thingy right in here. I'm being way too finicky. 
I'm just way overdoing it, man. Stop. You know, there's a difference between, I've been watching the show Obsessed and, and relating a lot to the OCD people. And um, there's a real difference between being in a flow with painting where you lose track of time and, you, and you're just like in it and forget yourself. There's a real difference between that kind of creative flow state and an OCD ritual. It's, it's an anxiety-driven, stressful, compulsive uh, activity. I'm in it right now. I can, and you know what you do? You have exposure therapy and you just stop the behavior and, and let the anxiety rise. Ah, the sky looks horrid. Oh, Jesus. This is the exposure therapy. I'm doing this on purpose. The only thing I know to do when I'm really stuck in this hell of compulsion and anxiety and judgment is to just fuck something up so completely beyond repair and recognition that <laughs> all these all these evaluations of good or bad are completely gone because it's all destroyed. So, you know, you've seen it before. There we go. I did not plan to spend this whole show working on the goddamn sky again. I'm s I got issues really thought this was going to be different. Okay. There we go. It was just getting way too tight and fucking picky. This is where we're at. I can't stand all that eh, 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 little bullshit. Remember to have fun. Hey, yeah. Remember to find the fun in it. There we go. There's some fun in this paint. Look, I, I, I saved it from uptightness, didn't I? All right. Look, we get to cross off something off the list. Redo sky. Um, now let's do the asses. Been waiting. I know some of you have been waiting for this for a very long time. I was, I had the, I had a sudden, sudden thought that I'm going to make the assholes bright yellow. Thinking of um, the solar anus. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? They're going to need something darker. Yellow just doesn't show up. I wonder if the word asterisk has anything to do with ass. Well, Bambi shows up, doesn't it? Because it's on dark fur. I'm going to leave that glow there. And put a little poop shoot dot right there to put the butt back onto. Wait, I like it. I'm going to work fine. Okay, our red underpainting for the grassy knoll is dry, and I can now replace the grass. Goldilocks was kind of a OCD person, you know, with things being too hot, too cold, too big, too small. But she did eventually find stuff that was just right. And then was surprised by the bears when they came home. I don't remember what happened. Did they kill her or did they invite her into the family? Probably in the original fairy tale that actually um, was true to the psyche, the archetypal tensions in the psyche. Um, they probably uh, raped her and killed her. Hmm, how do you like the grass overlapping the red? Then he's more in a pool of red. No, I want it to just be paint. Like it doesn't, it's not representing anything from the real world. 
It's a symbol of something else. It's a concept. It's a con it's like an abstract moment is a concept or a visceral or a visceral kind of emotional experience. Okay. Um I'm super thirsty right now and I don't have my water bottle and I'm wondering if I can just drink from my spray bottle. It smells okay. Mm. Just had to wet my whistle. All right. I think you all know what the final major element in this painting is. There will be refinements that I'll need to make, uh, but the tree. And I'm going to do it with, on, on a wet sky. You know what that means, right? I cannot wipe it off if it goes wrong. But I don't have patience to wait for the sky to dry because we're in the home stretch now. You know how you get excited when you're getting close to something? I'm getting excited. To be confident. Confidence comes from, not from competency. Competence? Co confidence doesn't come from competency. Competency? I, I, can't, I don't know why I can't say the word. Competency? It doesn't come from that. It comes from not caring. Uh, You know, I want my lines to have some, some fun in them. Uh, okay, how does that go? Mm, mm, mm. I used to be a gardener. I used to prune a lot of trees, so I got some sense of how they how they grow. But let's not get too like accurate. Let's just be stupid. Be stupid. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I can always fix big blobs later with some little blue. Mm -hmm. They get thinner out at the end. Mm -hmm. Don't stress, just paint. One thing I don't like is how perfect, like regular it is. But hey, don't judge, just paint. Don't be stupid. There you go. Make them wrong. Make them awkward. There you go. I have a crooked one coming right off there. Sure, why not? I don't know. Maybe I have one coming off right there. Yeah. Pointing down. Okay. Yeah. That goes like that. That goes like that. Um, maybe I have a little stick right, right there. Some of these are getting very thick. More thick than I would, I would like. Let's stand back and take a look. That's all right. Yeah, there's a little, some areas. I'd like to just clean up a teensy bit. There we go. And then um, one quick little trick. Trick of a trade is to get my blue sky color and just do a little patch. Little, little patch, you know, just boop, boop, boop. And it kind of looks, I kind of like it when there's a patch that you can see. It's like when you patch your pants. Yeah, it's just like when you patch your pants and it's like, oh, those are some pants. They got worn a lot. Those are some well-loved pants. Uh, okay, so now people, will you look at, I did a bunch more on the log while you were all away. And uh, you can see I made it look more dimensional. Got some highlights and some lowlights. Doesn't look good. Looks pretty good. Um, I think I think it's good. So I'm gonna put some gold highlights on the tree, and it will connect these two wooden uh, wooden objects. Okay. I, you know I do highlights on things even when there's no light source. Like I don't care about 
where the light is actually coming from. I just, I don't care about that sort of thing. Got to get runny enough to get a good flow. Yeah. All right, let's try that again and not mess it up and be careful. I'm shaky. Stripey, are you there, buddy? Calm my nerves. My hand is sticking to the wet paint. It's not good. Is this, is this gonna work? Need to make a like a bridge to put my hand on. Here we go. Like playing pool. So if this is, <laughs> this isn't, don't worry people, I'm not going to finish it and this will be the final episode and then it's all over. That's not going to happen. I will not abandon you like that. But it is getting very close. We're going to have to start thinking about, you know, how we're going to split up our stuff. I think I should do another season. But like I said, I may be over narrative, you know? And but I'm not over funny stuff. Funny stuff is here to stay till I die, man. Funny till I die. Laugh till you die. Laugh or you'll die. Die laughing. Yeah. You know when you're when someone's really cracking you up, you say, you're killing me! You're killing me! Oh, and, and comedians say, I killed it. There's something, death and, and laughter of something in common. It's probably like a a limit experience where you transcend the confines of your identity. There you go. Um, I like that. And do we put some dibs and dabs on the trunk? I like it see-through. I used to do that a lot more, but let's do some. Pay attention. Don't just do autopilot. I don't know. I, I, I could have probably not done that and it would have been better. Me. Again, another thing that, too bad you did that. <laughs> sometimes it turns out better. Sometimes it was just a mistake. Just don't stop till it's okay. Okay, no, that's good. I like it. Oh, it looks better. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I made that error. All right. Now for the moment, all two of you have been waiting for the mom's solar anus. We should play some dramatic music <laughs> for this. <laughs> for this moment. Oh, good dramatic. Some sort of like religious music right now. <laughs> that was like from Children of the Corn. Malachi. All right. I don't know. This is fine. It's okay. All right. Okay. Everybody, how do you paint friends? Oops, that's not what I call you. I call you how do you painters? Uh, this is very fucking close. Um, I'm going to do a couple little things and see you next episode for some kind of wrap up. I don't know what. Okay. Oh. Thanks for being here for another episode of How Do You Paint with me and Stripey, your hostess. <laughs> See you next time. Don't be ashamed. It's okay if you're small and weak and have to live in my pocket. And don't know how to say goodbye. Bye.